Hey everyone, uh, uh, welcome to the uh, to the interview. And as you can, uh, if you don't know me and uh, or Jonathan, I would like to do a brief introduction uh, first. Uh, my name is Quincy Lin. I am the owner of Quicklist.com, and we provide a uh, Amazon seller the OA lead list. And then I develop software to help people with a manual online sourcing. And I've been an active Amazon seller uh, myself all this year since 2014. I'm still uh, selling a lot of shoes. So I stay in the trenches. So I understand um, the, all the changes happening on Amazon platform. And I understand all the challenges and pain point as always seller. And I hopefully based on that, I can develop software, develop services or tool to help Amazon seller, right? At the same time, at the same time, I would like to, um, you know, that would be enough for me. So Jonathan, why don't you uh, help us uh, to know you a little bit? Well, yes, hello everybody. I am Jonathan Bryant and I am co-owner of Tarrant Toolbox. Quincy, thanks for having me on. I uh, really have enjoyed teaming up with you. It's a good person that wants to genuinely help people uh, grow their businesses and, and you know, just help people, Amazon sellers all the way around. I love this. I love teaming up with people like this. And it's been a great experience so far. Now I am Jonathan and my partner's Todd. And we acquired Tarrant Toolbox last year. And we are not the crea uh, the original creators of Tarrant Toolbox. We um, acquired it from Lydia, who, who built it uh, a, a great thing there. And uh, we really enjoyed it. So um, uh, we decided to take over there. Um, but we, Todd and I, are Amazon sellers ourselves. Uh, we have in the past scaled to a seven-figure business and with 90% RA and, and then 10% uh, with uh, OA and wholesale mixed in. So we definitely know the similarities of OA as RA sellers. And... Um, you know, we we built up to to a um, really good place that we wanted to be. But we really wanted to help other sellers more, and we wanted to provide services that that we were using and we we uh, knew how to do. So, um, after selling for so long, we decided to take this this turn, and we are still sellers. It's on a smaller scale, but as Quincy said, you have to stay in the trenches. You have to know what's going on with Amazon to help Amazon sellers, right? So we definitely keep an active account. And that's the main reason now is, is for other sellers. So um, I really enjoyed, I jumped in, I was sourcing for the company. It was already an established company by about a year from Todd. Uh, and um, I was going to start my own instead of competing we decided to join forces and I just went out and became a shopper, your ultimate shopper. Uh, so my first day I spent $300. And uh, by the time my biggest point, I was, if I wasn't spending about 5,000 a day, I wasn't happy. <laughs> so, and that was every day we, we scaled up pretty big, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of work. And there's a lot that goes into selling um, like that. And, so that is another reason we want to help sellers. We know what it's like when you're busy doing things like that. And there's a lot on the back end that needs to be done. Uh, but Todd and I, we're, we're sellers and we get it. And um, then we're here to provide excellent services for sellers, especially involved in OA and RA, shoes, clothing. Uh, but we can help all kinds of sellers. Uh, we're having actually a lot of wholesalers coming at us right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me um, um, add to what you said. Um, the background of the Terran Toolbox. I, I, I knew uh, Lydia way back then uh, before you took over. So I knew of her service as you know, help people to fix often uh, listing and then create new listing. And I purchased some of the educational uh, courses from her, um, you know, learn more about how to do cubic scan and how to spot, you know, often <laughs> inventories and things like that. Me being a shoe seller, that kind of uh, happens quite often, right? Shoes, 
different variation and now yes. no longer attached to any parent uh, ASIN and then sales rank uh, shut up and then kind or of no sales, sales rank. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. The power of it is just to put them back together, but it takes time, really takes time. <laughs> I don't even bother want to learn how to do, do the, the merging. <laughs> um, so speaking of our service, right? I think um, it's my kind of approach that Whatever uh, service I will introduce to 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 viewers today, um, because a lot a lot of them are, are, sell, are selling shoes, so I think um, because I am um, currently an active client of the uh, Terran Toolbox, so work with uh, uh, Jonathan almost like on a daily basis, right? With uh, with his team, so I understand the uh, you know firsthand experience with the service. I mean, definitely, I've never been involved so much since the Lydia's day. So now you break, uh, bring it up to a new level. I mean, more coverage and uh, a, a better team, a bigger team. And then, you know, with you and, and Todd kind of a really focusing, giving your time uh, into it, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to share along with uh, my experience along the, the um, uh, our interview uh, today so that... Uh, uh, our viewer will be able to get a uh, a better understanding of what Terran Toolbox can do uh, for sellers. Especially, interesting that I am a hundred percent OA, and then you are almost uh, uh you know ninety percent RA, right? Yeah. So we come from two different worlds. Mm -hmm. They all belong to arbitrage, but the uniqueness is we have a lot of skews <laughs> to deal yes. with. It, 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 you know, different than wholesales. Or private label, you have a very limited number of SKUs in general, right? Yes. So makes it um with a lot of issue. Let's put it that way. You know, different brand, we're selling other people's brand, and then you know, all the different issue are surrounding arbitrage sellers. That's what makes the uh the Terran toolbox service most relevant to uh, uh to us. And um yes, so I think that would be good. Uh, introduction of ourselves, and so let's kind of a uh, um dive in to um to the uh the Terran Toolbox yeah, service. Absolutely. So when when we took over Terran Toolbox, um, there was only listing services available. You could get orphan listing management, or you could get new listings created, um, and that was pretty much, I mean, there was things like resizing inventory, uh, Cuba scanning, you know, things like that. But for the most part, that was all that Terran Toolbox was about. Well, I decided uh, when, when I jumped in and started basically refacing the business and bringing new things to it, I wanted to add account maintenance to this so that we weren't only able to help RA, OA sellers with a lot of different SKUs. We were able to help anyone who needed it, right? And in a, in a way, uh, almost anyone can use our services by adding account maintenance, um, a, an account maintenance division. So um, if you allow me to share the screen, I'll jump in and show you a couple of things about the company and what someone would expect um, by teaming up with us. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let us see uh, what's included in the uh, in the service. Yeah. So here you go. Way. What can you do for me? No, this is what Terran Toolbox can do for you. So if you don't <laughs> know about all of these things, it's okay. You don't have to be intimidated. You don't. Uh, you can contact us. Uh, I can get on a call. I do it all the time. I get on calls just like this right here and go through exactly what someone needs. Um, if you if you want to look over things, we have it listed out right here. We offer things such as listing management, orphan listing management, creating new listings, and then all of these account maintenance tasks right here. These are the tasks that a lot of times get overlooked by new sellers especially, but even some sellers that are you know, sourcing themselves, they don't have shoppers, you know, whatever, they're trying to scale their business. Um, all, some of these account maintenance issues get looked over. Um, so it's, it's really important 
to make sure you're handling your account maintenance because it all directly affects your account health, which all directly affects your sales, right? So this is all about you, you hire services, you do these things, all for better profits in the end, right? And easier, uh, less time spent on either same or better profits, right? Growing your business, that's what it's about. And maintaining it, that's the part people miss sometimes, maintaining that business and keeping in good standing with Amazon. It is very important. I can chime in a little bit on that. Um, I had a bad experience in the past because I didn't pay attention to account maintenance and whatsoever. So a few years back, um, my account got suspended, right? A portion of it is an inauthenticity issue with the shoes I was selling. And then the other part is just some of the issue has been showing up, give me the warning sign that I need to take care of it. And I didn't. So it got me into trouble. No. And I realized since I, the extension lasted 45 days during Q4. So it was pretty uh, bad. <laughs> you yeah. can so after that, I learned my lesson, right? So this is the foundation of my selling on Amazon. So I, I really focus on taking care of it. And even to the point that I have my, um, at one point I had the account doctor as the account maintenance service for sellers. Well, you know, but later on it, it didn't uh, go as a plan. So, um, you know, I, uh, uh, it end, ended it. Yeah. I ended it. And then now the, um, my account all along, I, um, right now I'm, I'm into the, uh, Amazon, the newer account health assurance program, because I was able to using other service, um, to help me get to 250, the score and maintain it above that number for six months. That was pretty, <laughs> pretty, I, Quite an accomplishment. Six it, months is a long time. It was like well done, well done. Right? Yeah. Uh, I guess when you get to that point for Amazon, that as long as you work, if it was a something happened that kind of Amazon can suspend my account, mm -hmm. but if but because I'm in that program, um, the benefit would be to as long as you're working actively uh, with the account health specialist, they won't suspend my account. Right, that's the assurance that I, I'm getting. So yep. get to that point, it's um it quite effort. I need to clean up a lot of things and and I'm happy. But now I'm just need to maintain it, right? So I do a four hour work week on Amazon as a seller. So I do a lot of maintenance tasks myself every day, right? So I spend a little time doing it, but I I'm just it's just me, but not everybody's in my in the same situation. Right, your account might look different, and your uh, or the different issues, but might might need to be uh, taken care of. You have not been getting into the assurance program, but I'm telling you, you need to kind of a really uh, uh, through this webinar, Jonathan can help you open your eyes to what you don't know about account <laughs> maintenance, all oh. the different expensive list. So I think um, from my personal experience. Uh, I want to share that um, it is super important that yes. you're starting today to kind of uh, give it time to to see uh, what you need what need to be done. Yeah, and and what a lot of sellers don't even really think about is how account maintenance directly affects their sales and and things like buy box rotation. I mean, we know that Amazon's algorithm is. Um, pretty intense, right? When Whenever they're doing the buy box, we don't really know the formula. No one really knows it exactly. We know it has to do with uh, seller ratings and, and their, you know, stock and, and available stock and where they're located and things like that. All of these things go into whether you're going to get that buy box rotation or not and what percentage you will. So another thing they don't think about though is account health that directly affects things like that. If Amazon isn't happy with how your account is being managed, and if you're running and, and leaving things unattended and your account health score is going down, then that means that other sellers are going to be more competitive than you if they are, if they are maintaining their accounts. 
and and they have a healthy account with Amazon. So it's things like correcting stranded inventory, fixing search suppressed listings, uh, handling your unfulfillable items, all of those things right there directly affect your profits. Because if you have stranded or suppressed listings, then you can't sell them. So, I mean, you suppressed, they're harder to find. Some, some listings go suppressed and you're on it. Someone sells it, but it's hard to search that listing. Someone almost has to search it exactly. So instead, it's better just to fix the issues and make sure it's searchable by the most amount of customers as possible, right? Um, people don't think about that. You would be surprised how many people just let that slide over their head. Um, Amazon, they're always trying to improve their platform for their customers, their customer experience. And so part of that is keeping your listings up to date and you know the description's nice and and the listing looking attractive. So they'll give you, uh, you know, listing um, up, updates, suggestions. Um, there's other things that we handle. And if you don't know what these things are, it doesn't really matter when you join up with us in the beginning because we'll look over your whole account. All of these things that you see here are included within your subscription. So. You don't even have to let us know, I want this taken care of. We're going to automatically look at it for you unless you tell us you don't want us to do something specifically. That's when we won't do a task for you. Um, plenty of people have VAs that they use for certain tasks and then other things that come in and they want us to handle those. So we split that. Um, but you know that's, that's one way that people uh, will use our services. Other people that are new and don't know anything, like I said, we'll just uh, run through and weekly we'll make sure that everything is up to date for you and and get a hold of you as needed. And yeah, so I think um, my experience with the Terran toolbox is this: <clears throat> um, this is a com a very comprehensive list of the task, and a lot of them that um, in my case uh, with uh, with my four hours of work week. I, I check all those area myself. I have a system to do it. And uh, I mean, in reality, uh, with my sales, uh, you know, um, around 600K a year, I, I can go through the, uh, uh, them pretty quickly because I already managed to take care of a lot of them uh, beforehand. I get into the account health insurance program. So, but, um, there's a specific thing. In my case, I uh, I request help from uh, Terran Toolbox. Number one, uh, regarding the um um you know block the <laughs> to preserve my capital investment specifically is the stranded inventory, right? So I always have some of them. So doing that that helped me to making sure I'm not losing them because now Amazon, if you get stranded for X number of days, it will become unfulfillable. Right, you can't just have them stay there forever. Yeah. So you have to get the inventory moving. So get the sales, get my money back. Um, but in addition, um, I want the uh, Terran Two Box help me generate more profit by uh, through its create new listing uh, service. Right, right on the top. So as you know, um, if you're able to create add a very a new variation, <clears throat> create a multi pack of some kind then you, for at least for a brief period of time, that you'll be the only sellers. So you get your first bucket of gold, and when other people comes in, then you're gone, right? So create new li listing, it's, it's kind of a, a big thing for me. Um, needing help from a Terran toolbox. And creating new listings, um, you know, that, that can really change the game right there. We have we have a bunch of clients take advantage of that. And not only, um, you know, is it they're going to buy something that's not listed on Amazon on purpose and, uh, and, and then try to list it. Sometimes people have shoppers that make mistakes and think they're buying a variation that actually isn't the correct variation. <laughs> and um, there's different things. Uh, they, they might scan one variation and think that 
maybe they weren't trained good and they buy all the other variations thinking, oh, well, if the one's good, then the others are good too. So we've ran into multiple cases where someone just has a bunch of shoes sitting around and they don't have any things to do with it. They, they don't create listings. Uh, they, the other variations of that shoe are selling well, so you know there's a good parent for it. Well, they'll have us create the listing for them, attach it to the good selling parent. And before you know it, they're moving that inventory. When before it could be sitting for a year next to your desk and you have no, no idea what to do with it. So that's one example of creating new listings. And as Quincy mentioned, multi-packs, um, you know, those can be tricky. Not all of those are guaranteed, uh, but we have yeah, created- I learned, I learned quite a bit uh, through this uh, interacting with the team and uh, which is very valuable uh, experience, you know, uh, for myself, right? And uh, um Okay, so if I'm a new client, I'm interested in the service. Now I realize there are a lot of area that um, I have not been paying attention to because I do not know. Yes. Uh, if I come in as a brand new, um, you know, uh, client, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure what I want all of them covered by the team, <laughs> so uh, I don't know exactly what area need more attention than the others. So. What would the team do for me if I, we, uh, let's say, I to, um, you know, X number of hours, and then are you going to take care of all the tasks show on the, uh, on the screen right now for me, or how does it going to, how, how it's going to work? Yes. So all of the tasks that we offer are available to you with um, any subscription. So no matter if it's account maintenance or listing tasks, they're all under the same subscription, all under the same price that you originally pay for there's no extra fees for this or that um, ever we don't do that so um, if you have no idea what these things are we will run through your account and look for these things uh, obviously some some of these tasks aren't obvious until they show up right so you won't you won't always have stranded inventory to correct but we'll run through and make sure you don't have stranded inventory to correct and and we get with you promptly when there are errors to be fixed sometimes we need things like receipts or uh, images of um, the product to to correct and solve these issues obviously when we create new listings we need things so we um first of all allow someone when they sign up with us we allow them to choose if they want any specific tasks done, or we can assess the account and do what's needed, or we can discuss it in more detail if you need more information. So before you ever start services, you'll have that option to let us know what you're looking for, even if you don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> so once that goes through and you set up user permissions, we do our onboarding, you will get a Slack channel um, and this is private. No one can see it except for the people that you want added and our team. Our team consists of me and the people doing the work on your account. Our uh, VA is doing the actual work for you. you. We separate listing services and account maintenance into different channels because there's different information involved and we don't want anything to overlap. So mm -hmm. this is where most of our communication is done. Uh, yes, we still will use some emails or other forms of communication, but this is the majority of all communication. If you need something done, if you need, uh, if you saw something uh, before we went back to your account that week to look at it, you can punch it in here, let us know what's going on, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Usually within that first day, uh, we're getting back to people. So, um, so look, this is, um, as a sell, uh, as a client, I need to give you the limited permission to access the uh, certain part of the seller central uh, mm -hmm. account. Okay. Yep. User permissions, and that's done through your seller central. We will send you a PDF um, that has user permission instructions and exactly what we need you to do, and then you can also contact us uh, via email or. Slack to ask about those things. So 
um, once user permissions are set up and we get that part out of the way, that's when we can really jump in. If you're getting orphan listing service, we run you an orphan listing report or you give us your list. Some people have their own list they want us to work on. Um, if it's account maintenance, you let us know what you want us to do. If you don't have any clue, then we run through it and let you know what we think needs to be done and handled. Um, and when, you know, when we do a task for you, that, that counts towards your hours. If we go into your account and look at stranded inventory, there's no stranded. You're not getting charged for us looking at that. If there are stranded, then uh, however long it takes to fix those stranded, there are different reasons things are stranded, um, then that will count towards your subscription hours. Okay. So, so you mentioned the subscription. Uh, traditionally, when we think about a subscription, there would be like a monthly mm -hmm. payment, right? But that's not how um, how you structure the payment. No, you you charge by hours. We do. We find that we can provide more value with um, charging per hour, and it's in blocks of hours. So uh, our normal rates start at ten blocks of hours for twenty dollars an hour, or um, you can work up to a platinum package buying twenty five hours at fifteen dollars an hour. So, and there are a couple of options in between. Now, we'll go to that uh, in just a bit uh, on the uh, um, uh, the cost of the service. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, now, um, with Slack, sometimes when we have on a day daily basis, let's say we have a multiple tasks going on between listing and account management, then I mean, in the Slack, you easily get lost on what's been done and what's what's being requested. Do you have a way for us to see a like a dashboard or something to see everything, all the activities being done for the account? A dashboard, yeah, yeah. We actually want to build a better dashboard. Um, we're still in our early phases of uh, building this business. Um, all of the operations are in place, but you know everything yeah. and how it's done is an ever-changing mm -hmm. landscape. So right now we use Google Sheets and um, Airtable. And um, with Google Sheets, you'll have several different sheets that uh, go into the day-to-day -day services. And then there's an account overview that will kind of show you everything that we're doing. It'll have when you ordered your subscription. Um, mm -hmm. And by the way, these are actual taken from actual clients. I didn't share any personal information or actual ASINs worked on, but these are real figures from uh, client reports. So um, you'll see an all in one place, what you paid for, what's going on, what days they were worked on. This is your example of listing service. And this is an example of what your account maintenance breakdown will look like. So if we fix stranded uh, listings, this block took us an hour and 40 minutes. We did 41 ASINs in an hour and 40 minutes. You know, So that all, with the way we do it and the way we charge, it all broke down to 56, and a, 56 cents an ASIN fixed. So I know that's a little more detailed there, but just show you that it's, uh, you know we do break it down and try to be transparent about everything that's going on and the value that you're getting. Um, uh, like here, um, how how many hours they had and how many orphans we were able to fix and what their average cost per listing fixed is. Um, so so all the the available data is is given to you. Um, of what's happening in your account. We, we actually go so far with our orphan listing service. Um, we, we give an orphan listing sold report. Again, I'm not sharing product names or ASINs, uh, but these are actual figures. These are days that we added to a parent or created a new parent. And these are the dates sold. And these are the dates they were listed. So you can see in terms of things like aging inventory, right? Um, you're going to, Amazon's going to charge you storage fees for that aging inventory. So if something's not selling for you and it's orphaned, especially you, you should fix it. <laughs> and if you do, your chances of selling it are great um, compared to 
having to recall it and figure out, you know, something else to do with it. So some things it's avoidable, that's going to happen. And there's other actions you can take when you do have to get those items returned. But before that happens, before that occurs, let's try to get it fixed. Let's try to get the listing healthy and mm -hmm. uh, let's try to get mm -hmm. it sold, <laughs> you know? So that's, that's about, that's more of your listing service there. So uh, I, I see something, maybe you can help me understand. I'm uh, looking at the green box on the top mm -hmm. where it says 10 cases open and then three BP acquire. What, no. what about BP? Glad you asked that question. Uh, BP stands for brand permission. So okay. if even if I'm able to say, let's let's talk about Nike. If I'm able to sell a Nike shoe, I'm approved to sell that shoe. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm approved to create a new Nike listing or uh, make adjustments to Nike listings, right? So brand permission, you'll get error codes pop up when you go to do those tasks. And brand permission is getting um, approved to go and work on or create new listings of a certain brand. So mm -hmm. that's opening cases. You have to use images of your product. You have to say the right things, put in the right information. It's, it's quite an extensive process to do that. And um, it can be really confusing for sellers. And there could be follow-up. If you get an Amazon rep that doesn't know what's going on and they just push it through as we can't help you, and we know we can, someone can help us, then we have to reopen that case and keep going. So it's things to keep up with. There's a few different ways you can get brand permission. Um, if, if you're working on an orphan listing and um, say it's a Nike shoe and you have all of your images, your real world images, that's actual in hand images, not listing product images, right? Um, you send those in with the other data that they're asking for, and they may approve you if you do everything correctly. And they can approve you for up to 96 hours or, or more, really, in a lot of cases. Um, you can get extended time. It's just up to Amazon how long that time is extended. That's um, no guarantee. But you do have 96 hours once you're approved. So you can get it by fixing an orphan or trying to, having your images, if you go to create a new listing, um, new to Amazon, that UPC of that product is not associated with a listing. And it's say Nike, you're trying to get brand approval for Nike. Well, you can upload those images with your new listing creation and, and try to clear that error code that way. That's a quicker way. And then beyond that, there's things called uh, uh, bin checks. And you can have, if, you, if you're, not able to come up with images for brand permission, then um, then you can have Amazon actually go and look at your stock, your inventory, and they can uh, get all the details they need from yours that are actually in an Amazon warehouse somewhere. That is the long route. It takes more time, uses more of your hours. Um, so that creates less value. We like to try to do those things the faster way um, by you know, pretending to create a listing or fixing an actual orphan and having all the correct data. So yeah, that's that has changed over time. And um, what back in the uh, the days uh, when Lydia was running it, the um, um, now whatever you just described, actually, it's uh, Amazon has changed it. Um, how how uh, the uh, the brand permission thing, it's uh, uh, how it works now. So stay updated and, you know, uh, what is the latest changes from Amazon? I think that's one of the things that your team uh, know best uh, oh. from a day-to-day, -day, you know, interaction with Amazon. Um, that's right. Well, so, we're in doing yeah. these tasks every day. So if something pops up new that was different than it is every day before, we know right away. And we're able, okay, what's going on? How do we fix it? Is there a, a workaround? Is there not? Is this something new that we have to explain another roadblock to all the clients and the Amazon community? <laughs> you know, um, yeah, things happen. Things happen all the time. We know Amazon loves to change their game up.
all the time. <laughs> that is true. I mean, that's only only, only thing that is uh, change is the only constant with Amazon, right? So <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we go over. Um, we went over the uh, um, what Terran Toolbox can do and uh, uh, how how the communication is established between clients and your team. And then, um, you know, we, we give example of what are some of the things that uh, you can do and how it might impact um, the sellers, the, you know, the bottom line, as well as they create new uh, opportunities. Um, let's talk about the, uh, um, the cost for the service. You'll briefly touch on, you charge by hours. You mentioned, um, you know, uh, um, uh, some numbers. Can we um, let users see uh, what, uh, standard package look like and versus when we work together as a partner, um, Quicklist and Turn Toolbox team up together, what kind of value we'll be able to provide our viewer if you happen to be uh, a, uh, a Quicklist uh, client? Yes. So our normal hours, uh, our normal blocks you can subscribe to are going to be a minimum of 10 hours, and then there really is no maximum. We have some clients that choose to purchase 50 hours every month, and, and they work through that. Um, so, so normal, just coming in without being a quick list member, you would, if you only wanted to test this out and get 10 hours, then it was going, it, it cost you 200 bucks, $20 an hour, right? And if you bought more hours from us, you could become a platinum member all the way up to platinum, 25 hours or more. That gets you $15 an hour. So that's our preferred customer special uh, price, right? Well, if you're coming in with Quincy, then you, um, you get that special price of $15 an hour, no matter what. And you can actually get it in as small as a three-hour block. That's what we're offering QuickList members. Um, no one else at this time is getting that offer at all. They have to at least purchase 10, but you get to sample it. And if, if you continue and you want to get more hours, you can do that. But if three hours is all you need and you subscribe with Quincy every month, then you're going to get those three hours, you know, and if you're choosing that package of his and we'll do whatever we need to do. If you're a smaller seller and you don't need a whole lot of stuff, then three hours is going to be plenty per month, right? Now, no one else is getting the opportunity. They have to get at least 10 hours. Um, but also, no matter how many hours you want to purchase, even if it's a smaller, you want to add the 10 hour block, um, you're going to get that same $15 an hour price rate. Um, and that's, that's what we'll guarantee you. Um, you'll always have our preferred pricing um, as a quick list member. Now, so the hours don't expire. They right? don't. For now, we're letting them roll over indefinitely. One of these days, we may have, you know, a three month limit, something like that, you know, um, just okay. because it gets confusing when someone you know a year later needs hours you haven't heard from them and they didn't need anything oh wait <laughs> so we do want to keep everything you know regular and and regular communication as much as possible um but so far we we haven't ran into issues like that and we are letting people roll their hours over from month to month if they're not used um, they will not expire and okay um, so i think um the viewer would be able to um i mean even at the regular $20 an hour, right? So you, you tried it out, but I am an active user. I really like the service. I like Jonathan and like his, how um, how the team uh, interact with me and get my real issue uh, fixed. And so I just recently rolled out a brand new 2024 uh, quick list offering. And as a part of the, uh, uh, the offering, you know, it started with a quick list. It's a lit list service, but I want to add more value to, to our community. So now I pack like a more than 10 uh, membership perks into it. And along with each subscription, not only the, the per monthly subscription fee is um, it's lower, lowest um, 
in the niche. But also, uh, Terran Toolbox actually uh, it's part of it, right? So the two way that you can benefit from it depends on the subscription plan that you are in or you subscribe to. Um, you um, all the plan will give you the chance to uh, the three hours block fifteen dollars. That's what you pay out of your own pocket at fifteen dollars an hour for three hours of service, right? So you can use that service. Given my experience, if I can manage my account in uh, in a few hours a day, then I think the three hours will work, work perfectly for most of the seller if you are selling under a million dollars sales I mean, a year, right? And so you get that taken care of. But what's even better is for the platinum edition of the subscription of a quick list, actually I pay for it for you. So every month I will pay for the first three hours um, uh, if you use the uh, 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 Terran Toolbox uh, service, right? It's <laughs> uh, the reason people ask me why I do that. Um, my answer is because I can, right? So the ultimately, because I because people need account maintenance and people have a limited time. So if you're able to find a great team or service provider like Terran Toolbox at a very reasonable rate, do a great job, save you time on the things that you must take care of. If I can, in a, I'm in a position to be able to help you by pay for you, that would be the platinum edition. I'm happy to do it. Just go to quicklist.com and look at the pricing and then you can see all the breakdown, uh, how how the service is structured, how you can benefit from a Terran toolbox. So that is the um, the whole point of this idea. Right, great people working together provide great service that uh, OA uh, or arbitrage sellers uh, needed. Even the wholesale wholesale uh, seller, right? So you mentioned earlier uh, during the uh, the interview. So I think that makes it a very strong team. Um, I want to provide a more holistic uh, solution to uh, to my community. So I think uh, Jonathan's <laughs> service is is it's a perfect. Uh, not only me as a arbitrage sellers, I so I understand so well how important it is. Now I found your team, just like the other day I introduced people to the Axiom Returns Management Service. I mean, <laughs> we just need that kind of a service, right? It's kind of almost completely hands off, right? I don't touch the inventory, and then with the Terran toolbox, I just set it in what I need to be done. They go ahead and, and taking care of it. I mean, this is this is the the experience that at when you're at certain level in selling on Amazon, you need to consider this. Of course, the newer seller, I would do I do not want to take away your experience going through different account related tasks so you understand what 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 they are and kind of know how to do it and do it yourself. And because you need that experience to to be to become a good seller, right? But at some point, you don't have the time for it, mm -hmm. even though you know how to do it. So you need to partner with uh someone like Quicklist or Terran Toolbox in specific area. So that's what we hear. Uh, that's what our interview is all about, right? Giving you the what's the latest out there that you can consider in two thousand twenty four. We know it's in February. It's still at the beginning of it. A lot of people looking at the budget, looking at what they're going to do in 2024. And this will be will bring to your attention uh, so that you need account maintenance. You, you need to take care of it, right? So you don't get into the situation I experienced a few years back, okay? So you think about selling. What are you going to do differently this year in 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 sourcing? buying inventory and then shipping the inventory to Amazon and then how to sell effectively on Amazon. And also the most important thing is how to sustain your account. So that's where Terran Toolbox comes in, in the sustaining part of your Amazon business. So I want to see, give you the big picture so that you understand it's not something you can put on the back burner, just focus <laughs> on buying and <laughs> selling, right? So a lot of experience the pain is that you you need to have a solid foundation mm -hmm. so 
<laughs> now, I think that's pretty much we cover, we want to cover, right? Today, anything else additional? I have one thing I forgot I, I didn't do at the beginning, but before I said it, and do you have anything else you want to add to um, add to our, um, uh, let, uh, let us know? No, I want to, I'd like to recap um, everything though, that um, we're seller first, we're seller and, and you hear people over profits thrown around a lot. And uh, Quincy can attest to this. We truly are tr doing our best in, in making Tarrant Toolbox the real people over profits, right? Because we are seller, seller mentality first. What's going to help a seller? What do they need? Not the things that we could necessarily do for them and make money, but what do they need? What needs to be done? Because that's what's most important. If you're not paying attention to these uh, things, if you're not maintaining your account health, and if you don't use us, use someone or learn to do it yourself because you won't last forever in this game if you're not managing those things. Um, Amazon will eventually you know, just cut ties with you if you're not doing the proper things. So not only those important details, but remember, we can help you separate yourself from competition with fixing your orphan listings, uh, creating new listings, th things like that. You can really elevate your game. Um, and listing service is a really big help when it comes to sell through rating right? Your sell through. And that's a big deal with Amazon and your account health, your sell through. So make sure your listings are healthy, make sure they're viewable to the customers of Amazon and stay in good graces. And that's what we're here for. We want to do that at an affordable rate and different than other people are trying to offer you. So it's my little recap on that. And uh, I appreciate you letting us uh, letting me come in and discuss all this for sure okay so uh here's what i'm uh i forgot i should have done uh, earlier right so um it's important for us to know the faces behind any service or tool or software right in the amazon space we pretty close community um getting to know a person and uh, i think it's the best way to understand why they do certain uh come up with a service so here's the chance. Uh, for me, I think I <laughs> forgot to ask if there's one thing that um, most people don't know about you as a person. Can you share what was the what 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 is that one thing about you? Yes. So um, <laughs> now people that have known me my whole life, uh, close family and friends. I'm an open book. We, we talk, we have open relationships to discuss everything that's going on in our lives. So um, they, they know pretty much everything about me, but on in the Amazon world and the people that I'm talking to online every day through Facebook and everything, um, a lot of them don't know that a big part of my life, I was a musician and I actually um, played bass for uh, Texas Country Band was my biggest band that I was ever in. And I started when I was 14 years old, a freshman in high school. And we played our first club in Dallas. And, um, and then all the way until I was, you know, about 29 years old is when my son was born. I decided to um, not pursue that anymore and, and go into a different direction. So I didn't have to travel so much and, and I could be there for my son. But for many years, uh, I was out running around on uh, going to different stages. I played over a hundred stages in Texas alone. So um, that was a big part of my life and who I was before Amazon. And um, yeah, that's maybe one day we'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you still have any album or CD or any kind of uh, yeah any that we can? Fine. I wish I wish we still had my favorite music video that we made, um, but there was management issues at the end of at the end of the run, and uh, we had to pull some things down off the internet. But um, that was really fun. You can still actually find one album of ours. It's under Travis Mitchell Band. Travis Mitchell Band, 
and that's on iTunes. Um, I haven't looked at that stuff in so long. It's been a decade since I've been involved in anything uh, musically like that. But we we had quite a bit of albums. We had we had a song get in the uh, top of the Texas music charts, which in country music is as big as a Nashville chart is the Texas music charts. We wow. I used to run around to all the radio stations and do promotions and then go play the shows. Right. Uh, we would flyer. Uh, we'd go in Texas. You know, high school football is everything on Friday nights. We played a lot of shows on Friday nights late and then Saturdays. So we'd even go and flyer all the the go to the football games and flyer and and then get people to come into our shows after we did it all. It was fun. Played with some pretty big names. Uh, well, a, a California name, uh, Gary Allen. He's a they call him the California country man. Right. So there you go. Yeah. Um, we played several shows with him. I really enjoyed playing shows with him. Uh, so we we did we we did our thing and it was a lot of fun and traveled a lot and had a lot of good experiences um i i still will say today that the stage for me playing on stage that's that's the best feeling in the world that's the greatest place on earth in my opinion and and uh you know if i could do that with my wife watching and my son up there on the stage with me that would make it the most perfect thing in the whole entire world for me wow wow <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I hope that you you get back on that stage uh one day right especially when you these when days grows older and uh, i heard that uh, he likes to get into the mu music of some something uh like that as well so um i hope that that will well, one day we see you on stage again with your, <laughs> your guitar and then things like that. But yeah. Travis Mitchell. Music. Travis Mitchell, yes. Mitchell, okay. Travis so I need to wrap it up. And then, uh, well, I think we're going to wrap it up. And I think it's been an interesting talk because through the service, I learned quite a bit more. There's a more new thing to learn uh, in the uh, account maintenance Um area so i hope that our viewer will uh resonate with what we talk about and then i hope that um, we'll be able to work with you um in the new future because in 2024 let's hope the best uh, is yet to come so jonathan thank you for uh for coming on and uh, it's a great pleasure talking to you so we will be um in the future as you know amazon constantly changing things so if something changed that is relevant to our viewer so let's get together again and talk sure. about some of the uh, latest changes i'd love and to <laughs> so i know i think our amazon already let us know what's going to change to come in march in april and things like that right yeah. so we'll have a lot more opportunity to talk about those subjects uh, uh, again so all right, viewers, I think the I uh, hope that you enjoyed the, the interview and be uh, hopefully it's uh, educational in the sense. And also now, you know, um, uh, who to turn to when you have a come related issue. Yep. So until next time, guys, good night and bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>